Hello, my name's Colin Campbell and uh, I'm from Grief Encounter, which is the UK's leading bereavement charity for children and young people. Um, over the last few weeks uh, on this blog, I've been sharing stories with you to uh, hopefully keep you occupied during this strange lockdown time that we're experiencing at the moment. And I thought I'd share another story with you today. This is called Stone Soup. See what you think. See, our story is set in a village, way, way high up into the mountains. It's very cold. For as long as anybody can remember, it's always been cold. Patches of snow lay on the ground. The ground is hard and the weather is grey, wet, cold. But one day, a stranger walked into the village. He was carrying a heavy rucksack. It looked like it was heavy anyway. And by the look of him, it looked like he'd been travelling from some time. He looked very drawn. And he went to the first house that he saw in the village and he knocked on the door. But there was no reply. But he could sense that there was somebody inside. So he knocked again and he called out, excuse me, I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm very, very hungry. I've been travelling for many days. Do you think you might be able to spare me a little bit of food? But there was no reply. So the stranger went to the next house and he knocked on the door there. Excuse me, I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm very, very hungry. Do you think you might be able to spare me a little bit of food? But the stranger received no reply. All he noticed that there was a crack in the door and from it a cold grey eye stared back at him. So he went to the next house. Again, he knocked on the door. This time, the person inside replied, No, go away, came the reply. And so it was. Then the stranger went to every house in the village. Nobody came out. Nobody gave him any food. So the stranger went into the middle of the village where there was a well and there was a small hill. And the stranger took off his heavy rucksack and he took out of it a lovely cast iron pot that also looked very heavy. And he drew some water from the well and he gathered some wood and he made a little fire and he put the pot on top of the fire. And then he put his hand in his pocket and he had a bit of red silk in his pocket and he unwrapped the red silk and inside was a shiny black stone. And he plopped it into the soup or into the water. And such was his actions that the people in the village looked out of their windows and they became very curious about what the stranger was doing. So much so that one of them went down to see the stranger who was sat by his fire warming himself. And the villager said, well, what are you doing? And the stranger said, I'm cooking. And the villager said, you're cooking? Cooking what? And the stranger said, I'm cooking stone soup. Stone soup, said the villager. I've never heard of such a thing. Ah, oh, it's very delicious. You're very welcome to have some with me, if you wish. And the villager said, well, you know, I, I don't mind if I do. It'd be really nice. And then the stranger said, bah, if only we had a little bit of turnip, then it would be really good. And the villager said, well, I think I have a little bit of turnip at the back of my cupboard. I could bring it down if you wish. And the stranger said, please do. It'll taste all the better for it. So the villager went up to his house and he got, he reached into the back of his cupboard and there was this old dried up piece of turnip. And he took it down and they chopped it up and they put it in to the stone soup. By this time, another villager had come down and he asked the stranger the same questions. What are you doing? I'm cooking. Cooking? Cooking what? I'm cooking stone soup. Stone soup? I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, it's very delicious. You can have some if you wish. Ah, <sighs> said the stranger. But if only we had a little bit of salt beef, <laughs> then it would be really good. And the other villager said, well, you know, in the back of my cupboard... 
I think I've probably got a little bit of salt beef that we could we could use. Sh- shall I go and get it? The stranger said, why not? It would taste all the better for it. So the villager went and got the salt, be- salt beef and they chopped it up and they put it into the soup. And more and more villagers came down, all asking the same question. What are you doing? I'm cooking. Cooking what? Cooking stone soup. Never heard of such a thing. Well, you can have some if you wish. And each time the stranger would say, but if only we had a little bit of pearl barley, maybe a little bit of salt. Gosh, some parsley would be nice. (laughs) If only we had some bread to dip into it. Until everybody in the village had come down and talked to the stranger and put something into the stone soup. There was a lot of soup there. They got some bowls and they ladled out soup and everybody ate the soup and they all swore that it was the finest soup they'd ever tasted. And the villagers enjoyed each other's company. They told stories and they told jokes. Some of them started to sing. And as the night, as the night went on, the sparks from the fire went up into the sky and the villagers were feeling warm and happy connected they didn't notice the stranger with his pack walking away and leaving the village but from that moment on the villagers swore that they would always look to see what was in the back of their cupboards and that's the story of stone soup Um, I kind of wanted to tell that story because it was about bringing people together, which is something that we can't do at the moment. We've all got to stay at home and maybe we're connecting up over the phone or maybe over over Zoom and over Facebook or whatever. Um, So I hope you're managing to keep in contact with some people, albeit at a distance. And I hope you're staying well and I hope you're staying safe. Take care now.